This is my uh, third series, Rapid Boxing, Novice to Pro. Today we're gonna be working on uppercuts. So again, I already showed you your stance. You're gonna be standing like this. Your back foot's always a little bit in front of your other foot. You're at a slight angle. The back heel's always up. And then when you box, when you throw uppercuts, you're gonna be like this. And when you throw the punch, once you land it, you're gonna pull back immediately. Again, speed equals power. So your elbow does not wanna be close to the body. You gotta have a little bit of room and then you want to be able to see your palm when you punch. So I'm going to be doing line drills for the uppercuts, and you really want to use your body, your shoulders, and your hips to stay fluid and loose, loose hands, loose body. So again, uppercuts, body shots, you're gonna really be breaking the opponent down. If you go early to the body in a fight, you can break him down and he'll start dropping his hands later in the fight and try to go for the knockout. After you do the left uppercuts, and the right uppercuts and the line drills, then you're gonna add two uppercuts, a left or a right uppercut and a left uppercut. So when you're coming down, you slide back into your stance, boom, boom, two uppercuts. These are a little more challenging. So here we go. Punchy uppercut, first off, again, reminder, your hand, it's a loose grip, and you're hitting with these two knuckles. So when you land it, you're not coming up like you would on a mitt, because the bag's hard. So when you hit it, you want to pull off quick. You can't really do that, or you're going to break your wrist, or hurt your knuckles, or hand, or whatever. So starting with the uppercut, again, you're in your same stance, high and tight. When you land it, you're coming back. So it's going to be boom, and back, and you're coming back. Always recover high and tight, so when you do punch, you can come back with another punch, whether it's a body, head, or body, and then turn it over. It's just like the line drills, we'll start with the right uppercut, so you're coming here, you're gonna land it, and then weave out so you get out of the way of the hook, just like that. same stance this time I'll do a little dip instead of the weave a dip is when you fall your body falls over the thigh it's kind of like you're tilting forward or you're bowing I guess the so upper torso twist shoulder twist and you lay over the quad so coming here and then boom you're gonna land that left uppercut ready dip So you got the right uppercut and the left uppercut. Now we're gonna put them together. The right uppercut and the left uppercut, just like we did in the line drills. I'll do it from both angles. So you're gonna go jab, body, body, the right uppercut landing, and then I'll switch the angle and put it on the left. So you're gonna be here, on the uppercut, you throw a jab, you're coming in, jab, and you can do body, body. So jab, and you weave out. Jab, and you weave out. Pine top.
Dip. <clears throat> Back out. All right, so now the different combinations you can throw when you're hitting the bag. Normally your jab and crosses, or normally your jab will get you inside. You had to punch the guy. So that's what I did off of the combos we just worked on. I was jabbing and I was coming with the uppercut, but if you want to throw like a jab and a cross and then land the uppercut, I'll kind of show you some different combinations you can do. So say you start with the jab and you do a right, and then you can throw a left uppercut. So once you throw the right, you're going to be set up. Bam, throw an uppercut right here. So jab, boom, and then crack, all right? So I'll show it from this side. So jab, right, and then you throw that uppercut. So once you throw the jab, when you throw the cross, he's gonna get his hands up, and you're gonna land that uppercut really hard to the body. So jab, and then weave out. from the other side. This time, I'll throw a jab right, and then I'll slip and come with the right uppercut. Coming in, one, two, slip. <clears throat> so when you slip, it's like bringing your, like the Tyson move. It's from here to here, you just basically come back over that thigh. And then the uppercut. So we're gonna go boom, boom, slip. <clears throat> then I'm gonna weave again. Bop, bop, slip. <clears throat> weave out from the counter punch. So in order to get to the body, it's hard sometimes because you got to get close enough to them to hit the body. That's why you're jabbing to get close to the opponent as you're scooting in. Some guys are more advanced. Later on, we'll work on the angles and we'll try to show you how to cut the angles off to help get them where you want or get them against the ropes. But for this drill right here, I'm just going to show you a little trick I do to hit the body. You're coming in and you just do like a one twos but you're not really hitting that hard, so then you can attack the body quick. So as you're coming in, you're like, ah, 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 bam, bam. So then you throw that same double uppercut. So you're coming in, get his hands up, just throw a flurry. Bah, 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 bam, bam. And then you come to the body. Bah, 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 bam. Right, so this is a great exercise for power. So if you're boxing, you want to use more power, you can also get core. So your elbow's going to be into the body, beyond the balls of your feet. You're going to do a little flex, flex in the knees. And then you're going to do, it's called coupling, so you, you do a little hop. Coupling's normally heel to toe. This one, you stay on the toes. So it's similar to a coupling move, but you're always on the balls of the feet. and getting that power and core for fighting.
those are two you can do for power. Kind of like the weighted dumbbells I showed you all a while back. Another one you can do to involve a little more core, Olympic torso rotation with the bar. And then you fire it up so you're gonna get a little more abs on this one. So grab the bar, you're gonna interlock your hands, thumbs together, interlock your hands. Once you rotate to here, you're gonna go boom, boom, and then crack. So basically you're doing both sides. Ab, ab. <laughs> Remember to like, comment on exercise, and subscribe for more movies related to elite athletes. Bye bye! Great freak training! Good job! Let's go!